As Dairyland Power Cooperative celebrates its 75th anniversary in 2016, we continue to live the cooperative advantage by providing safe, reliable, sustainable, and competitively priced electricity. In the 1950s, without the benefit of modern technologies, Dairyland constructed a transmission line through La Crosse and Trempolo counties in Wisconsin. This line safely and reliably served cooperative members for 65 years. We share this story of the rebuild of this line through wetlands in the Van Loon Wildlife Refuge as an example of Dairyland's dedication to both the environment and our members. As we continue to live the cooperative advantage. The Q1 line was built in 1950. It's approximately 65 years old. It uh, runs through the Van Loon Wildlife Refuge. We had to rebuild this line due to age and condition. Uh, most lines, uh, wood lines, only last 60 to 65 years, and it's pretty much reached the end of its life. We decided to use the heavy lift helicopter because the Van Loon Wildlife Refuge is a wetland complex that includes wetland areas as well as river crossings and we wanted to minimize our damage uh, to the wetland areas. This was a very expensive tool that we used, but the advantages were it was much more cost effective than matting roads for conventional construction equipment. The major environmental um, issues that we encountered uh, were threatened and endangered species, the eastern Massasaguas snake and the wood turtle. We contracted with a company for a biologist to come in and do a sweep of the areas before we ever started construction. And also we used them during construction to clear every construction site before we went into the sites. Camille is a Sikorsky A64F heavy lift helicopter owned by the Erickson Air Crane Company in Portland, Oregon. And it's the helicopter that we use to lift our caissons and our structures into the Van Loon Wildlife Refuge. Every morning we had what was called, what they call a tailgate mating, and we had it at uh, Camille. Usually started at six o'clock in the morning. Anybody that was in the project working with the helicopters were required to be at that tailgate meeting. Everybody knew exactly where they were supposed to be and exactly what they were supposed to do. Safety is a huge thing, especially around this helicopter. Everybody was in tuned and almost operating at a higher level because they knew how serious it was to be operating around Camille. She creates 70 to 80 mile an hour downdrafts. And uh, I wanted to know what everybody was working under in those conditions. So one of the days during one of the structure settings, I went out there and worked with them. And it's, it's unbelievable. No matter how you describe those downdrafts and the noise that's coming off of that chopper, unless you're under there actually feeling it, living it, it's incredible. It is absolutely incredible. Erickson wants to make as efficient use of the helicopter as possible, so you never want that helicopter flying empty. Whenever we'd fly a structure or a caisson out, on their trip back to the yard to pick something else up, they would pick up the two poles from the structure at that site and fly it back with them. Right before this project started, we had a major rainfall. Um, we started to see the rivers rising, and pretty soon two of the rivers were overflowing their banks and flooding the backwaters. We had planned on using amphibious units with low ground pressure tracks in order to transport men and material we had to bring in another helicopter company, uh, Haverfield Aviation. He could move so much faster, he transported all the men and material from structure site to structure site. We didn't have to load up the Argos with all the men and materials and transport them to each one. He was constantly hopping people all the time. The gantry and the power unit as a combination is a one-of-a-kind unit in the country, and it's only used by Erickson to fly in, fly that unit in to areas that they can't get to. The caissons generally took anywhere from five to 30 minutes, probably 30 minutes on average, because we did have some caissons that took up to two hours to drive down. 
We had put markings on the structures every five feet, and it was really interesting to be able to watch these caissons, how fast they went down. The reason we use the Y-frame structure as it's a, a specialty structure is due to bird mitigation. We want to keep the structure low around the treetop level so that the birds don't um, hit the lines. And the other reason is it's a single pole structure, so we only have to drive one case on. We installed a total of 21 structures in the Van Loon. 18 uh, were installed with the helicopter. Well, I think the biggest reason that this project uh, was finished and completed so efficiently was we started planning for this project two to three years in advance. The second key to the efficiency of this project, we brought in all the contractors ahead of time. They were there from the start, from day one when we started pre-planning this project. Uh, those are probably the two of the biggest keys um, for this project and why everything went so smooth, because we had a lot of issues thrown at us, but the entire project management team, which included all of the contractors, had already known each other and been working together for two to three years, we were able to handle anything that Mother Nature and anything else that was thrown at us. For two years we had planned for this project. We couldn't wait to see Camille come, to see this big orange helicopter here. She was here and she was gone. And uh, it was a major letdown, but it was it's a lifetime experience. It's one that I'll never forget and probably will be most the most exciting project that I will ever do.